Hello, my Cancers. Welcome back. All right, so we're taking a look into love. We're going to see what's going on, the overall energy between you and the person on your mind or who you're dealing with, however that feels right. Um, now, it is a general reading, so just take what resonates. If it doesn't fit, then it doesn't. You know, don't force it. It's going to be all right. We're meant to enjoy here. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below. You know, I keep hearing something about, like, how do I bring balance back into this? It's like somebody somebody has this energy of trying to uh, keep a situation balanced. Or maybe their mind or their thoughts on something. I'm just really hearing that. How do I bring balance? It could be a little bit defeating. It's like something's a constant struggle or a constant battle. If you are dealing with a situation in your life, I feel like at one minute, like you're worried about it, you're stressed, and the next it's happy, and then it's worry, stress, happy. The situation, again, it's like it's like a rocking boat. Whatever you're dealing with, with a, with a person in your mind, this boat is rocking. That's what I... Could be good, could be bad. You know, that's... Wow. I don't know. All right, so um, let's go ahead and get the overall energy for you, Cancer, and the person on your mind or who you're dealing with. Universe, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The overall energy for the person on their mind. Overall energy for Cancer. Oh. Okay, this is great. Milk and honey and bless. So, I mean, these are, that's fabulous. That's fabulous. So this could be incoming. You might be feeling this right now, but you could be treated to something like a nice dinner or some sort of sweetness. There's sweetness here. You're going to really be feeling kind of good in the energy of love. And again, if you don't feel it right now, with this change at the bottom of the deck. So something's gonna kind of shift for you. There could be, you know, and, and which is gonna allow mending in your life. Now, I was gonna, this could be somebody that the universe gives you that's sort of like down to earth, easy to talk to. You might not be romantic with this person right off the bat, or you might not even be, I, let's not even say that at all. I'm just kidding that, the universe is going to bless you with, with somebody that you enjoy being around. And again, because um, I was getting kind of a, an interesting energy going on in the pre-shuffle there. So I'm feeling like whatever this is, is going to be upcoming. Something's going to kind of turn in your favor. Or somebody is going to do, you know, could be a new person. Could be anything. But I'm getting sweetness. That's what I'm hearing, sweetness. All right, so let's go ahead and see. And, and I'm just suspicious. I mean, again, this could switch out for the better if you're dealing with someone in particular. But it, it, I'm suspicious that it could be like a completely different energy entirely that's in your surroundings that's just really cool and easy to be around. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. The situ maybe maybe things are going to turn around. Who knows? Let's see. Okay. We stop talking. Let's pull some cards. All right. How does this person currently feel about cancer, please? How does this person currently feel about cancer? Um, well, whoever this is, Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They have chemistry with you. There's, uh, they, they like kissing you. There's something about like playful energy as well. Seven of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. They could, there's something relevant about family. They may know your family or, or they've been around your family. But you're somebody like worth putting time into. I don't know why, but I feel like they get to spend, or they will be able to spend time around you, just sort of seeing what you're about, seeing what you're doing, 
you know, so you may already be with this person or they, you know, they're, cl they're close by or you've already dated them, whatever, however it feels right. Because it's definitely a soulmate here. But yeah, you are somebody to put like work into, put growth into theoretically. They view you in that way. You know, but there is something about like um, Seven of Pentacles boredom here. Someone could be a little bit bored, feeling a little bit bored. I'm getting a delay because of like sadness or disappointment. Somebody hasn't healed from something or understood something. And I don't know exactly. They may view like they may feel like you're focused on something else or hung up with something right now. I don't know why I'm not seeing multiple energies, but I just keep getting this duality. But it could be because there's such a shift in energy. It really depends. So Ace of Pentacles. This person either wants to offer you commitment or wants commitment from you. Or they're feeling like that's something that you expect. I'm just getting something a lot about like family, like wholesome, a wholesome type connection. They might think that that's what you want. Or, or again, so, you know, I, I feel so mixed up, topsy turvy on how I want to. Someone may like switch back and forth or change their mind because I am. I'm like back and forth big time. But it seems so clear. I don't know. But an ending could bring you a better offer, either from the same person who, who understands or someone entirely new. I'm just thinking that like. There might need to be some endings and stuff like that to, to really change something here. Um, all right, so how does Cancer currently feel about this person? You know, it's interesting. For some of you, it's like they, they wanted to be with you for a long time or they've been with you for a long time. You've been around them for a long time. I'm just getting something about like time and... Okay, so how does Cancer currently feel about this person, please? I feel like you want things to be clear. You want there to be clarity. How does Cancer feel about this person? interesting cancer because see that's where I think that I'm getting a little bit mixed up because I think there is someone new coming into your life you know um or there's this newness you know for those of you that are set and married that's obviously not going to be quite right but there's going to be something refreshing but for a lot of you queen of pentacles ace of cups this is a new um and I want to say this person isn't materialistic. That's something that you'll notice about them. You may have been dealing with someone before who was kind of more into money and flashy. And maybe that's why I'm saying that. But you're, you're literally going to be dealing with somebody who's a little bit more down to earth. Uh, when they offer something, they offer it. I feel like they have something in their mind. They make big offers. This is an emotionally available person. So you have the Seven of Cups, the Death card, and then the Seven of Swords. See, I feel like you have kind of, you were involved in a situation that was confusing, could have ended several times or, you know, needed there to be a change, seven of swords and just a lot being hidden, five of cups, you know, somebody, I, I don't know, and I'm sensing this energy, this five of cups energy is sort of plagued you or will be plaguing you for a while but there's something brand new that you feel about this person um i mean because this is your feelings but i just went off into this tangent of that i do feel like there's someone new for you could be an earth or a water sign 
in the future. I would guess more on earth, heavy in the earth placements. Um, but again, don't get stuck in that. Um, but you could have been waiting for a commitment from someone else, or you could have been involved for a long time with someone else. And that's why there's this convergence of energy that I can't really see, but I can sense it. But now with that coming out, whoever, you know, I feel like whoever you're dealing with currently, you have a lot of love for them. You could be very committed to them, but there could, there, there, it might turn out to be a disappointment for you or it has. And I think that's because, again, there's someone new for you, Cancer, in the future. So, again, whatever. But you do, whoever you're currently dealing with, oh, you love them too. You're committed to that person. So, you know, for those of you that currently are interested in someone, you're like, no, 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 no. But if you find yourself to be disappointed and confused in the, in the current connection that you're dealing with, even if you love and feel very committed to this person, that's because there's actually someone new for you in the future. And I think this reading is being stubborn because um, there's some sort of dynamic like that going on here, Cancer. Okay? <laughs> but looks good. You're going to have something very nice presented to you. A nice offer. Somebody who comes in and, and genuinely feels for you, for you um, in the future, you know? You, there, there could just be a little bit of a waiting period, or there has been. So anyway, I feel like I'm, I'm like preaching to the choir right now. Okay, well anyway, uh, love it. This is actually I like your reading the best. So look out, Cancer. There you go. <laughs> okay, after a time of topsy turvy, something is going to come in and be presented. Some sort of Ace of Pentacles. A nice offer, maybe to dinner. Who knows? I, I don't know. Okay. Goodbye, Cancer.